Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rashida. My today's tutorial is going to be on cut and queue cut. Two pandas functions that are used to do the data binning. Data binning is very important. I will uh, show you soon uh, how they work and why they are important. And uh, cut and queue cut both are pretty much same thing, they do the data binning, but their procedure is different. Their working process behind the scene is different, and so that's why they actually mean the different thing. When they do the binning, they do uh, binning uh, based on different parameters. So I'm going to really explain how to use cut and kill cut and what are their differences. All right, let's start. Mm. Pandas import numpy as np. Okay, df pd dot root csv. I already have this data set students performance dot csv in the same folder as this notebook. If you do not have a suitable data set and you want to practice, please feel free to download from the link provided in the description box below. Okay students performance.csv df.head this is the data set all right we have the students performance the math score reading score writing score and all these other uh, columns that we do not need so we are these are the columns right so we are going to delete some of the columns that we do not need just to um, course okay let's delete till this this one okay df dot head now it's very small though we do not need all these Either we are going to use only one of the scores, uh, but still I'm keeping it just to look nice. <laughs> okay, let's start with pd.cut df oh, math score beans. This is how, okay, so this is how the cut works. If you haven't used cut before, probably you are thinking, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> so, I'm going to show you soon what to do with it. First, let's see the value counts, how the binning worked. Here, I divided, I provided four, bins equals to four. That means I'm asking pandas to cut this math score into four bins and what it did it divided negative 1 to 25 25 to 50 75 to 100 50 to 75 I and mean, it divided the math score in equal four bins okay the math score the highest score is 100 so 25 each so if you see 576 students got the score in between 50 to 75 274 student got uh, 75 to 100 so it's very straightforward all right now let's see how we can use cut why sometimes we need this binning okay let's divide them in grades okay okay C, B minus B, A minus A, these are the grades. And uh, cut beans. Let's see. We are assuming we are trying to be really good to the students and nobody is going to fail. Even if a student gets zero, we are going to give him a C. Okay? We are going to be really, really good and friendly. To the students okay cut bins 
Now, uh, let's do this. We are going to add a new column in our data frame, grades. So what are we going to do? pd.cut. OK, OK, take the beans as well. Beans. Uh, so as beans, we are going to do the cut beans. Before, we just gave beans 4 and pandas uh, library, the cut function itself, divided the score into four different bins and it made it equal four different bins. And this time, we are going to mention the bins. We are going to define the bins and ask the cut function to do the binning according to our definition of bins. All right. And then we are going to labels equals to grades, these grades. All right. Now, close the parentheses. Now let df dot head look the grades. We defined a 85 to 100 is a. So here a student got 90 gets a. Then a minus is 65 to 85 is a minus. Look somebody got 72 and the grades a minus. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now let's do the q cut. Let's see how we can do the Q-cut. PD dot Q-cut. And when you do Q-cut, you actually do Q. Q equals 4. Okay? And look, this is how it looks like. And what I'm going to do, Q equals 4. Huh? And then value counts. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry. We have to put Q cut. Q cut. Look. We are giving the Q cut function as well. The Q equals 4. Q is almost like the beans as cut function. And it divided uh, the whole thing in four different beans. But if you look at it, it didn't do... 0 to 25, 25 to 50, the way cut functions did before, right? What it did, 0 to 57. And if you notice, here's 0 0.001. It's not taking 0. The reason is, when this is the, this is the parenthesis. Parenthesis looks like this. It's actually the corresponding value here. This one is actually exclusive. So when it's 0 to 57, 0 0.001 to 57, it actually means 0 to 57. And when you see 57 to 66, it actually means 58 to 66. It doesn't include 57. Okay? And let's try to understand where this kind of binning comes from, 0 to 57, the first uh, bin. The second one is 57 to 66. Just difference is 11 and look 66 no difference is 9 actually 57 to 66 then 66 to 77 the difference is just 11 okay now let's see where it comes from to understand that we need to see the describe function okay in describe describe functions gives all this uh, pretty useful statistical parameter 25 percentile, top 50 percentile, 75 percentile. And look, this 50 percentile, 25 percentile is 57. The score is 57. Okay? 50, so it's 0 to 57. That means these 266 students, they fall in 25th percentile. And 50 percentile, in the second quarter, it's actually 66. That means 57 to 66. Uh, it's kind of the second quarter, second uh, percent, I mean, 50, 50th percentile, then 75 percentile is 77. So it actually based on the population distribution, not based on the score. Okay, so these students, they are actually 25th percentile. 
I mean, uh, it's just one quarter. All right. Now let's uh, try to do one thing that is like um, pd dot and dot qcat and df math score. Now, instead of giving it this just equal four, you can you can actually do equal any any number probably eight or nine or six whatever number you want and dot uh, value counts i did four because it's easy to uh, explain i we have the describe function to explain it to you so i just counts okay so you see this time one to 52 66 to 73 60 to 66 uh, all right now I want to do one thing that is like just copy this mm. okay instead of grades uh, just do mm, math labels how about that pd dot q cut and beans equals to cut beans and next we look the cut beans here does 0 to 40 55 65 but in q cut we cannot do 0 to 40 55 65 the reason is these are the scores right in cut you can you denote the beans as per the scores but in QCAT we're going to do it as per the population distribution so probably 40 percent 55 percent 65 percent 85 percent and 100 percent okay this, these are the population distributions and instead of beans it's Q and labels grades though this is not the traditional way of grading we are not calling it a grade but um, just use it for now okay look here when you do it based on the population distribution the le these grades they look very different Lo right 72 it gets B but you actually don't know how much score this student uh, got what is the student score to really achieve this grade okay we will see it later the way you can do it with labels you can actually do it without labels or mint mentioning any grades as well as okay uh, math no labels df dot head look math with no labels so because that's not the traditional way of grading probably you can just put a label it's two four zero three as this is the b it's getting just two because it's the zero one two this is the zero. This range is zero. This range is one. This range is two. So student is in this range, 55 to 65 percentile. Okay. Now let's see what the scores. Right. We just know that the percentile is this just uh, label two, label two, label four, but we don't know how. What is what are the scores? So let's do this bean edges. Okay, then of what you can do, uh, you just let's copy it. Mm. Instead of false, let's put it in grades. Okay, so this parameter 
called red beans. We are going to set it as true. That means it's going to retain the beans, how it is defining the beans the way it did here. Okay. Now let's see the results. These are the results. <laughs> it's too big. Now do the bean edges. Okay. Now these are the bean edges. So these are the scores actually. So this is the first 0 to 60, 62. So 0 to 62 is actually C. We defined as C. 62 to 68, these are the scores. Okay. Uh, you can actually make a result table just to show the result tables pd dot data frame zip bean ages and labels mm. okay columns is uh, limits and grades oh bin edges and grades actually okay because we defined it as grades up here if you notice it yeah we defined it this as grades here okay so now see how result table looks like here is how the result table looks like this is grade c and b minus you have to get uh, the grade of 62 and more for b it's 68 and more for a minus 72 and for a 82 and more okay so we couldn't define the grades we just defined the population distribution the percentage of the population that will get this grade and QCAT function itself kind of defined these limits these grades all right so I hope now you know how to use cut and QCAT function very well and how they work both of them are very different and how they work uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video and want to uh, know more and want to watch more of my videos please subscribe please subscribe like share comment and i have a uh, i have a blog article and i have the link in the description box below that kind of explains this process if you want please check it out and thank you again thank you so much see you next time